Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna show you two very simple and quick and also um, a really healthy breakfast or snack options. The first one's gonna be an oatmeal dressed up and then the second one is gonna be a Greek yogurt dressed up. So let's go ahead and get started. So here I have everything laid out that we're gonna use for the oatmeal. And there are a variety of oatmeal choices. You can use whatever you'd like. You can use the overnight oats, you can use quick oats, uh, you know, instant, whatever. These are just some options that I have that I'm gonna show you. These are just organic steel cut oats. I found these in the gluten-free section and we have used them and they're good. And then here's just some Irish oatmeal. This is instant. All these taste good. Um, you can just use whatever you prefer. These are overnight steel cut oats. And this is an instant oat too. That's really good. It takes about two and a half minutes to cook. Um, and this is the one I'm gonna go with for this video just so we can speed it along and not take 15 minutes to show you. Actually, it'd be longer. But um, anyway, so this is what we're gonna use and I've already opened a package and I have it cooked already and it's sitting there cooling off. We're gonna go ahead and move all this stuff over and then we're gonna begin the tutorial. Okay, so here is my bowl of oatmeal. It's cooled off and it's nice and cooked. So I'm telling you ahead of time that this is so easy, so, so easy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna set that to the side. You can use your choice of fruit. I like to use strawberries and or blueberries. And for the nuts, I'm gonna use walnuts. You can also use, I have some almonds right here whatever you prefer, pecans, I don't know, cashews, whatever you like. And then there's also some brown sugar we're gonna put in there and also a little bit of heavy whipping cream. I'm sure if you wanna use half and half, it might be the same, but this just adds a little bit more richness. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice my strawberry. Let me know if you like this angle. Um, I'm standing right above the camera, obviously. So this is the view I see when I'm cooking. And I'm just, you know, trying to switch it up a little bit. I don't know if you guys like the angles that I normally do, but this is just a little bit something different. So you can leave these berries whole or you can cut them in half. I'll just leave them whole. I like to do small pieces for my fruit, especially if I'm doing like strawberries. Um, it just mixes a little bit better, in my opinion, and it goes a little bit further. You kind of get a piece with every bite, which is kind of what I like. And I did want to mention that these two recipes that I'm showing you today, I got the idea from my mom. She used to make this all the time for us, and this is pretty much the same, if not almost exact same way she used to do it. So credit goes out to my mom. Thank you for that. I learned pretty much everything how to cook from her. And I hope one day that Ryan, my little girl, and any other future children will learn the same. So here is the oatmeal. All we're gonna do now is we're just gonna layer it up. So I'm gonna do a layer strawberries like that there's my strawberries I'm gonna layer on my blueberries and then don't worry these are not going to waste we love strawberries in this household <laughs> I'm gonna chop up my walnuts you can buy these chopped you can buy them whole like they are now. I just buy them whole because sometimes I don't want them chopped if I'm just eating them plain as a snack. I'd rather eat them whole. But you just wanna chop them up, not finely. You don't wanna shave them, um, but just you know in smaller pieces to where they're not too large in your bowl. So that is good, just like that. Grab some, layer it on top. Yeah, that one was a little big, let's, perfect. There we go. 
And then what I'd like to do is finish off with a little brown sugar. So I'm gonna grab my other spoon. And I'm just gonna use, this is about, this is like a blender tablespoon. So I just like to drizzle a little over. You don't need too much because of the berries are gonna help get the sweetness to where you want it. So don't over sweeten it. You can always add more. Just don't add it too soon. It's hard to take off sweetness once it's there. And the last and final step, which finishes it off beautifully, is your cream. So I just like to drizzle it on top, just like that. You don't need too much. That's just the perfect amount. So that is all totally, totally easy. Very simple, very tasty, very healthy and it's kid approved. My toddler will eat it, and my husband will eat it, I will eat it, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay guys, on to recipe number two. This is the Greek yogurt. Obviously you're gonna need your yogurt. Um, you probably don't have to use Greek yogurt, but that's what we're gonna use in this one. So this is the foggy, I don't know if I'm ever pronouncing it right, but it's the 2%. Um, here's also, I just picked up a new one because I ran out, but this is the H-E-B Greek yogurt plain. We're going to use this one because this one probably expires quicker than this one. And it's like the perfect amount too. So I'm just going to scoop it out and put it in that bowl. And yes, I had strawberries left over from the last one. So we're going to use that and blueberries. And this is some granola that's really, really good. And I picked it up at H-E-B and it's the Cascadian Farm Organic. I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. Um, organic and this lemon blueberry granola it has such a very very just refreshing taste it's not overpowering with lemon or blueberry so since it has little dry blueberries you can just skip those and use strawberries or you can use both or not that at all and something else so this is nice to add with it also and then so here's the granola and then i'm going to do some chopped almonds and then i like to drizzle a little bit of my honey. This is some local honey I got at H-E-B. H-E-B is like the only store I pretty much shop at. It's the, really the only grocery store besides like Walmart and Target, um, you know, that we have near us. We're gonna open up yogurt. And I believe there's a piece of paper. Alrighty. I believe there's a 0% in this brand also. Um, we've always used the 2%. I believe it's not as tangy. Um, and the other one, 0%. So yeah, it has 0% fat. Which I don't mind the fat because it's not a bad fat. But this is packed with protein. Like, so much protein. 6 grams of sugar, 20 grams of protein, 140, 140 calories. And there's no added sugar. So, a lot of good stuff in it. All right, so now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna layer it. I'm gonna do is use some strawberries. I'm just gonna dump them all in. Just go for it. There we go. We got that out of the way. And go with some granola. And you can see that it's already small chopped up pieces. So we're not gonna need to chop this up. Saves you a little bit of time there. So there's the granola. And here's some almonds. I am gonna chop these up for the same reason I did the walnuts. And like I said, um, with the walnuts, you can also buy these pretty much in every way. Shaved, um, roasted, you know, whatever. Our grocery store has a really good selection of also other flavored kinds of nuts that um, I haven't ventured off too far into trying. I did try a, what was it? Vinegar and, salt and vinegar one. It was all right. I would just, I just prefer the salt and vinegar chips. Anyways. These take just a second to chop because they're so small and they're hard. So you just want to be very careful you don't chop your finger. There we go. Just layer those on top, just like that. And the color of this snack is beautiful. And it was just beautiful with the oatmeal. 
All right, so there is that. And the last and final step. Of course, this is gonna add a little bit of sweetness, so don't use too much. You can always add more. If you don't wanna use honey, you can also use agave nectar. That would be a good choice. I try to stay away from like um, pancake syrup, stuff like that, just because the high fructose corn syrup and you know, it's not a good option. So that is that. And that looks beautiful and delicious and just very, very appetizing. So here you have both, both snacks, both colorful, both healthy, and two options that I, I love. Really hope you enjoy. If you try it out, let me know if you do, if you like it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.